What do these buildings have in common? So, did you make a connection between those buildings? I'll give you three guesses. Well, those buildings were designed by an English architect by the name of William Mawson. Welcome back, YouTubers. Thanks very much for putting some nice comments on from my previous video about the abandoned grave in Tong. Hopefully those comments will uh, give me a bit of a lead because ideally what we like to do is clean up the area. But today we're back at the Undercliff Cemetery for a different reason. And what a gorgeous day it is. Now back to William Mawson, he was actually born in Leeds on 17th of May 1828 and moved to Bradford round about in the late 1840s. Now the story began, he became a partner in 1849 with an individual called Henry Francis Lockwood and they became a well established firm by the name of Lockwood and Mawson they were the architects of some of the fabulous buildings in Bradford and around Bradford but the strong partnership that transformed Bradford between 1815 and 1877 left some legacy behind and those buildings are not just exclusive to the uh, Lockwood and Mawson firm there are many other buildings that they designed and what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description of some of the other buildings they designed around Bradford. So I'm here just to find his uh, final resting place. In fact, I can see it right away. It's very prominent. I believe it's a listed build, um, grade two listed building and it's situated on the main terrace. I'm just panning across so you've got an idea where it is. And there is a burial of William Mawson. Let's get a closer look. Again, I don't like walking over the graves, but I can't really avoid this. I don't know if you can read that. It says William Mawson, architect of Bradford, son of William and Mary Mawson of Leeds died 25th of April 1889 aged 61 also William Mawson's brother called Richard and his mother Mary Mawson is buried in the same cemetery 
Now I'm not sure where Henry Francis Lockwood is buried, but I've got a feeling his uh, final resting place is in down south. If anybody knows who's viewing this uh, video, please leave a comment just below. It'll be interesting to know where he's buried. I've also noticed that some of the graves here have QR codes and here is a QR code of William Mawson just at the uh, base of the plot I'm sorry if you can't see this properly but I'm gonna get my uh, smartphone and let's just scan it and see what happens ah it's done something there Open up browser. Yep, it's actually found the details of William Mawson. So the QR code actually takes you directly to the detail of the deceased. And I'm pretty impressed with that because the reception's brilliant and it does give the visitors a chance to read about the burial plot. So there you go, the final resting place of William Mawson at the Undercliff Cemetery. And like I said, he's one of the architects that designed City Hall, St George's Hall, the Wool Exchange in Bradford and many other buildings. I know there's a mixed feeling about latest developments that come up that pop up from nowhere and to me they don't hold any value compared to an architect like William Mawson so much work and effort has been put into these designs of Victorian buildings and they hold so much character Well there you go folks, I hope you uh, enjoy that video or got something out of it. <clears throat> now before I sign off, I just want to take you to the residence of William Mawson when he first came from Leeds to Bradford and there's another premises where he spent the last 20 years of his life and sadly passed away. Uh, so we'll take a trip down there shortly, so see you soon. Right folks, I've landed in Hanover Square. This is where William moved to when he came from Leeds to Bradford. And I believe it's number 27. These are actually all listed buildings. So I think number 27 is just here. In fact, here it is. This is number 27 where William Mawson moved to from Leeds. According to historic England website this area was built in 1840 right we shall move to the next location so I've just uh, arrived at Clifton Villas and this is where William Mawson lived his last 20 years of his life and then sadly passed away and I believe it's number three 
Clifton Willers and this is the actual property. Let's just have a look. There you go. This area is only about five minutes away from Hanover Square. So there you go, that's just a, a short video on William Mawson, one of the architects of some of the fabulous buildings in Bradford. So if you like this video, again, do the usual please, comment, subscribe. Until next time, I'm signing out.